All right, folks, when I used to watch this guy on CNN, I used to want to jump through the uh, TV screen and, and, you know, and, and put my hand around his, uh, his arm. Not his neck, but, you know, squeeze it real tight because I was angry. Uh, but um, he's here in studio, and we've had some great discussions uh, on Skype and all that. And uh, we welcome in uh, Dean Abadala, lawyer, comedian, and Daily Beast columnist. Great to see you, nice man. Nice to see you, Steve. All right. I didn't know that you actually wanted to strike well, me. I, I know, didn't do that much. No, 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 no. no. I mean, right. I feel that way about a lot of people that I watch. Fine, I get, I, right. I, that's I good. You get people riled up. You get them angry, you know. I would never goal. do that, right. but I just I wanted to do that. Okay. Because I couldn't fit through the TV screen, to be honest with you. I, the flat screen, I can't figure out how to get through the glass. I would break and go in. All right. Let's talk about you got sure. two, two of your columns here, and I want to start with uh, Boko Haram. Sure. You know, the first lady, uh, when she gave the weekly uh, address for Obama this week, and we've been playing the sound bites all week, and she called them terrorists. Sure, they're terrorists. But, but, but she didn't use the word Islamic terrorists. Right. And she framed it that, that they're, whole, you know, they're against girls getting an education. Ignoring the fact that they slit the throats of 60 boys in February at a boarding school, killed them, shot, shot them, killed them, set the school on fire. Right. They've raided churches, villages, killed tens of thousands of people. Uh, and all she told the American public was they don't want girls to get an education. Um, I think it was terribly misleading, uh, t terribly uh, purposely or, or bizarrely left out who they are. They are based on Sharia. They are based on is in their interpretation of being of Islamic law and the Islamic religion, and so are all Islamic terrorists. That's how they interpret Islamic law. The Palestinians have a TV show. We just played the bites the other day. They teach their children. What are you going to do? What did your uncle, the police officer, do he, in Jerusalem? He kills Jews. It's based on what they believe their religion is. Right. And you the, say they're the, not Islamic the, the terrorists. Palestine, for the Palestinian terrorists. I mean, I forget, so let's leave them out for the, now. Yeah. In this case, this is very specific to Boko Haram, and, and I'm glad we're having this conversation, yeah. frankly. Um, to me, if somebody does something based on the faith and then goes and weaponizes it or makes it military, to me that's a radical Muslim. Like, for example, one of the five pillars of Islam, so you can't dispute is you have to give charity. If someone went around as a Muslim, started shooting people, going, if you don't give charity, we're going to kill you. To me, that's an Islamic terrorist. They're using Islam, they're radicalized, and they're doing crazy things. Boko Haram literally, because I quote in my article, imams, are making stuff up and going, this is Islamic. No, you, you just can't make up new things and go, this is based on Islam. That's like having, they're the make em upists They're or the, the nutbagists. And I'm being completely honest when I say this. This is not an apologist thing. In the case of Boko Haram, women should get education. It says in the Quran, I've quoted people saying that, you should not force conversion of anyone. The, the Quran says, no compulsion of religion. It, well, but you're, you're selectively quoting the Quran because I'm, there are lots of quotes in the Quran that these terrorist groups, Boko Haram, I know you want to stick to Boko Haram, but Taliban throws a, a lie and acid it's in the crazy. face of girls. This is crazy. But they insanity. do it based on Islam, what they believe is in the Quran, and and and, and they're not, not making it up. They're they're turning to pieces in the Quran and saying, here's where it says it. You've got situations where in both Afghanistan and here you have low literacy rates. You have people who are leaders. To me, these what let, to be completely honest, let me be brutally yeah. honest. These are political terrorists with an agenda for power. Their goal is power. They say, I believe they sincerely fully believe they're Muslim. I don't deny that whatsoever. I think they will do or say anything. They've killed 60 or 70 people in a mosque praying in two different mosques. Right. They don't care. They don't care if you're well, Muslim. Because they weren't they radical enough for them. They were radical. Infidels. They, just they were infidels. They want to take them. They just want to take over. They want to use uh, kidnapping, murder, anything else. What if tomorrow they go, we're killing everyone with, who drives a red car? They go, say, why would you say that? Because it's in the, it's, the Quran says it. No, it doesn't. So at but some point we have to say. But they are killing people with a red car. No, they're, but I'm saying killing it's just as right. Sharia law and their belief no, no, of Sharia what the Quran law. does say. It doesn't say anything about a red car. If they said oh, we're going to kill and, people and it with it a says, red car, then I'd say you got something. And the but they and don't the, do that. And I'm agreeing with you because in the Quran, it says women, people should be educated. So they're saying no education. First, their premise as an organization is So all is the Muslim faulty. countries of, that, that practice Sharia law and, 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 and abuse women and keep women bottled up and locked up and covered up, they're, they're, none of them are, 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 are Muslim to you. None of them are it, it are real Muslims or Islamists. It, de it depends exactly which one you're speaking of. I, I've been across the Muslim world. I've been uh, in Jordan where there's members of parliament who are women. It's not a big deal. Saudi Arabia is the most extreme. Women can't drive. That's outrageous. It's not just women can't drive. I mean, uh, no, it's not really that right. It's Wahhabist. It's it's completely that to me would be Islamist. It, it, it's an interpretation based on what they view, uh, what the Quran should be. It's ridiculous. It's denounced. They're the only Muslim country. Look at Indonesia, a country of 200 million Muslims, the most Muslims in the in the nation. And for some reason, the media doesn't use that more as an example. Well, you have Christians, you have Jews, you have coexistence, you have some strife, but there's more coexistence. And Sharia, to me, just so you understand, Sharia is not like our constitution 
It's not defined. There's a political component that changes it. Each country, when you go through it, Sharia just means path to God. Uh, Al-Qaeda uh, uh, Islamic terrorists? They're definitely Muslims, and I think they believe... Who are Islamic terrorists? Uh, I think people who believe that they're... I think, to me, if there's something in the Quran... Who are Islamic terrorists? I th you got a world full of, 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 of Islamists terrorists blowing people up and saying Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Who are the, so, and none of them are Islamic so, terrorists? Some of the, are, are they, they Jewish Muslim? terrorists? Are they Muslim? They're Muslim. Are they Muslim radicals? Yes, there, there's no well, what doubt. What is radical? They're not terrorists? They're definitely terrorists. There's so no, they're, they're Muslim not ter terrorists. And that's fine. Islamic is saying the whole faith. Muslim no, is a no, person. No, 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 no. Islamic is saying their interpretation, their following of Islam, they kill in the name of Islam. They can kill in the name of anything. It doesn't make right. You no, have a but they're kill, killing in the name of Islam you based had, on their their reading have, of the Quran. Well, would you say, let me ask you out of fairness, then, so there's no double standard. Then, would we call people who kill abortion doctors? The, you or, mean the one or two of them? No, there's actually call many. them whatever you want. There's hundreds of abortion Hundred, clinics. Hundreds of abortion clinics attacked over the last. No, 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 no. Literally, you know, no, time out. It's time in my article. Time out, time out, time out. Hundreds of abortion clinics. You just asked me uh, killing abortion well, doctors, attack, it's and I said to you, how many? One or two? And you said, oh no, hundreds. No, no, hundreds of abortion clinics. Or attack. And First of all, I have no idea if it's hundreds. I doubt it. It, it but is. See, over that's years, what I yes. did. I'm surprised you didn't bring up Timothy McVeigh, who I, wasn't I don't, Christian. He say, I well, the left there's always nothing, does. There's no connection to. There's no connection in my mind. Timothy McVeigh and Christianity. No. I, but the all. left always brings it up. I think people up. who kill abortion doctors blow up abortion clinics. But how Today many abortion? Oh, wait, wait, wait. First of all, next time you come, you tell me how many abortion clinics have but been blown up. But I'm just saying, you, would you call them? And, I'm not saying. And, I'm and not how saying many abortion doctors? One is too many. I'm not saying. But I don't think. But I'm not saying. Be afraid of Christians that they're going to blow up abortion clinics. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, would you call them Christianists? Would you call them Christian terrorists? Would you call I, I, them Christian terrorists? I'd call them criminals. Would you? Why wouldn't you call because them Christian are, terrorists? Because it's based clearly. It's based on the Bible. Their their understanding of pro life means don't no. No, you know what? You so know what? I'm not Christian, and right. my and my religion uh, for the most part accepts abortion and, and, and favors the mother. I I think it's abhorrent. I wouldn't I wouldn't kill for I wouldn't kill a doctor, right, but, and I wouldn't but blow up. But, but, but I don't know that it's I don't know but, but, but why they're doing it. If they tell me if they tell me. They're doing it because the Bible says if they and you say don't care if it's not Jesus the Bible. Christ, boom, and they blow it up. But that's and, enough. And, and, and but that, that shouldn't be enough. To me, it's not enough. But, but Dean, we're it getting off the be track because that's that's ten people, a hundred people. We're talking about a worldwide movement filled of Islamic terrorists who kill in the name of Allah. You know they've killed Americans, they've killed they're, Muslims, they're, they kill Jews. They kill anybody. You know what? Christians aren't killing people. Jews aren't killing people. Buddhists aren't killing there, people. There are Only Buddhists Muslims. are killing people. Buddhists are killing yes, there people. Are. There's a, there's okay. a whole in Burma. You can Google it. I'm not making okay, this up. Okay. There are people of all different faiths killing people. Let's be honest. Really? Who are the Jews killing? Uh, they're Come they're on, they're come fighting on, between the Israelis and the Palestinians. What are you talking they're about? They're killing the Palestinians. They, they, Who are they no killing? No Palestinians have been killed. There have been thousands of Palestinians have been killed. In retaliation, and, and, in a well, war. You can say for whatever reason. Oh, no, they're, so they're you're, equating, you're equating what no, they no, did no, at the no, World no, Trade Center all. with defending you're your saying, country? You're saying no, there's no Jews who kill right. people. There's no Jews who kill people. There are Christians who kill people. There are Muslims no, who kill people. No, there aren't Christians killing people. There are no Christians killing people. In retaliation for an attack? In other words, if a church is bombed. In Nigeria, in Nigeria, there was. They retaliate. The, liber the, the Lord's re uh, resistance army. He wanted to impose the Bible this is the problem. in Nigeria. Are, you, are you Muslim? Yeah. Okay. This is the problem. People would refer to you as, uh, when they say this, good Muslims have to stand up. And, and they would, you would fit that category. I, I, I'm not being, uh, I'm not being no, uh, I'm uh, okay, patronizing okay. or anything right, 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 or right, calling you right, a right. name. You have to stand up and say, this is bull. This, this is, has to stop. This is exactly what we said. These are Islamic and, terrorists. They're the only religion doing this. This has to stop. Instead, you're saying, oh, Jews are killing people. No, no, Christians no, no, no. You, tell, you made this blanket statement that the only people in the world killing people are Muslims. That's not accurate. They, you are, just they like, are. Just, and like, I don't mean a God, just, Jewish guy on the street holding up a supermarket or, 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 or Israel retaliating with a rocket after their, 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 their school is, is massacred. I'm it, talking about groups we, that attack because you leave the religion, because you won't convert to the religion, because they don't like your lifestyle, Allah Akbar, boom, boom, boom. They're the Here's, only ones doing it. Won't do you one, admit let's that? Do one, let's do one thing here. Do hey, Jews hey. kill because people won't convert to Judaism? I don't, I don't think so. No, no do no. Christians? No. So, Muslims do? Some? Muslims, no, no, not Muslims. Radical it's, terrorists, and that's what I'd like. Islamic like, terrorists. Like, this is what I would like you to You won't use the word what? Islamic. You can say Islamic terrorist. If you want, if that makes you feel but better. But you won't. If it makes but you feel you better. But you won't, and that's the problem. I will call. That's if, the problem. No, 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 I would call them Islamic terrorists. You're terrorist. giving them a pass. I said this, I would call them Islamic terrorists if they were doing something specifically in the Quran and then militarizing it 
and saying, like my example with the charity, one of the five pillars of, is you have to pray five times a day. They're going around killing everyone who didn't pray five times a day who was a Muslim. I go, that's but a Muslim they terror. Believe, do you doubt that they, and when I say no, no, they, these guys, I think, not Boko Haram, I, all, all, the, all these terrorists, I think, do you believe I think they, they believe they're killing for Allah? And that they're going to see the virgins. I think that I have no idea about the virgins. All right, do you that, believe they're killing for Allah? I think they believe they're they're doing what's in their mind the right thing. But there's a political component that we can't. We can, I'm having an honest conversation. We can't discount the political component. They want power. That's what motivates. They use religion. Whoever it is, they use religion. And just so it's clear in my article, Muslim groups around the world, Nigeria, Saudi, American Muslims, have denounced Boko Haram in the strongest possible One terms. day we That's will get to the 9-11 column. One time. day, next time. Next, right. Come back, come back. I will. All right, Thanks great to see you. Dean Abadala, ladies and gentlemen, read them at the Daily Beast. Um, Daily Beast, right? Okay. Absolutely. I, I didn't read that. I memorized that. No. On the Steve Allsberg Show, Gimme Five is next. He says as he looks at the clock, don't go away.